In this video, I'm going to share with you three ways to jumpstart your strategic planning process. My name is Dave McKeown, and these are my findings from the outfield. Right. Hey everybody, Dave McKeown here with another episode of Findings from the Outfield, powered by Prezi. Today I want to share with you some thoughts on how you might jumpstart your strategic planning process. Now I'm a huge believer in getting into a room for a couple of days every year to really get under the hood uh, of your strategic plan, to review your progress from last year and to wrestle with what you want to achieve this year and beyond. However, there are times when you want something that's a little shorter, a little sharper and maybe a bit more digestible. Perhaps you're coming off the back of a pretty tough quarter, or maybe you're just growing so fast that you need to take some time to elevate your focus a little and evaluate where you're at. And that's what I'm talking about today, giving you and your leadership team the opportunity to breathe a bit and think a little bit about your strategic planning process, but not something that's necessarily going to overburden you. So here we go. The first thing you can do to jumpstart your strategic planning process is to run a start, stop, keep session and get your team in a room for 45 minutes to an hour and, and put three flip chart pages on the wall. Right, start on the top of one, stop on the next and keep on the last one. Give everybody a pad of sticky notes uh, and take each of these in turn. Ask everybody in your team to write down what they think you and the group should start doing for the next 90 days. One thought per sticky. Allow for a few minutes to go by and then have everybody put up their sticky notes and share their thoughts. Your job of the facilitator uh, in this exercise is to help look for key themes and subtle differences. There's no need to make any decisions about it at this stage. We'll do that at the end. Repeat the cycle for what you should uh, stop doing over the next three months. Uh, and then again, uh, for what you and the group think that you should keep doing. And by the end of these three exercises, you should have a good number of candidates to discuss. Maybe there's a specific uh, theme or group of thing, themes that you want to talk about. Uh, but for each candidate, take it in turn uh, and begin to discuss the merits of it. And then put it to a vote. Is this something we should start doing? Is it something we should stop doing? Is it sh something that we should keep doing? By the end of this exercise, you'll have built alignment around some key short-term strategic initiatives for the quarter. The second thing that you can do to jumpstart your strategic planning process is to run out what's the session. This is super simple. Again, it starts with some flip chart paper as the last exercise did. You need five pieces in, in this instance. And at the top of each flip chart, write down most obvious, boldest, easiest, hardest, and then weirdest. And what you wanna do is take each of these in turn. Use that same pad of sticky notes and have your team answer the question, in the next year, what's the blank thing that we could achieve? The blank thing being, of course, the words that you've just jotted down. So start with the most obvious thing in the next year, what's the most obvious thing that we could achieve? Get some feedback on that. Look to see if there are any key themes amongst your answers. Then move on to the next uh, remaining questions. When you've done that, you've now got a whole bunch of candidates for potential goals for you and the team over the next 12 months. And so what you want to do is to begin to look for some similarities and, and, and try to agree on three to five set goals that you're going to work on over the next year. In doing so, you're going to have some new, fresh, strategic goals to focus on. Now, I like this approach because it causes us to diverge first, getting a bunch of great ideas out there, but then you have to converge on the top three to five. The final thing you can do to jumpstart your strategic planning process builds on the exercise above, and that's to run a how might we session. This is taken from the world of design thinking, and it's a great way to use the principles of brainstorming effectively in your strategic planning process. You see, too often we judge our ideas in a group setting 
internally before we share them externally, which usually leads to us putting forward bland and generic ideas. When you're running a How Might We session, you ask your team to suggest a range of ideas for how you might achieve those strategic goals that you just agreed on. And you encourage people to think creatively rather than whether or not the, the ideas are feasible, at least initially. Take each of those new found um, goals that you just set, the three to five goals from the exercise above, and ask your team to jot down as many ideas as they have for how you might achieve that goal. And get them to share uh, for each of those goals. And again, look for th the key themes that emerge and then agree on the two or three initiatives that you're gonna try or run over the next year. So there you have it, three ways to jumpstart your strategic planning process. Run a stop, start, keep session to set your priorities for the quarter, a what's the session to generate some annual goals, and a how might we session to agree some initiatives to achieve those goals. I hope you have fun doing it. Let me know how it goes and make sure you're subscribed below to receive more episode of Findings from the Outfield. Until next time.